Hello friends. Let's say you you would like to run some electrical wire in a garage and you need to go from the panel to a receptacle or a receptacle to a receptacle and so forth. Well, a good way to run it is to use this kind of tubing here. It's called EMT tubing and it gives really good mechanical protection to your electrical wires. And Sometimes when you're running electrical wire in EMT, you run into these annoying small obstacles and you need to jump over it. You want it to look professional. You want to show your friends that you, you ran this and you want it to look good, right? So a good way to go over a small obstacle like this is a 10 degree, 20 degree, 10 degree, three point saddle bend. Right below it, we have a 15 degree, 30 degree, 15 degree three point saddle bend. And right below that, we have a 22 and a half degree, 45 degree, 22 and a half degree three point saddle bend. You see, they're all three point saddle bends. The, the difference when you choose what angles you would like to use, you need to know that a 10, 20, 10 takes more room. So you go from here to here. The 15, 30, 15 doesn't take as much room. That might make a difference. If you do have the room, use the smaller angles because when you run your wire, there's going to be less resistance. You won't hardly even notice this when you're running your wire 10, 20, 10. It'll just go right through there, no problem. So that's, a, that's an excellent option. And you see this obstacle here is about five eighths of an inch. And we would like to go over it about an inch. It'll leave a little space there, about a finger's width of space so that they're not touching. So I've been up this piece of EMT with the 10, 20, 10, three point saddle bend just to show you and to discuss why we do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna make up another one and I'll show you how it's done. So I've taken down my 10, 20, 10, three point saddle band, and I have another piece of conduit here. You notice there's marks. Uh, these marks are where I make the three bends for my three point saddle band. And so let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna measure from right here where my conduit ends. And let's put my tape right on here. And I run my tape over here. You see it's 25 inches right on the nose. So right here, you see, 10 degree, 20 degree, 10 degree, three point saddle bend. The shrink is 1 16th of an inch per inch of obstruction. So we have one inch of obstruction. It's really only 5 eighths, but we want to go over it a little bit. So we're going to say that this is a one inch obstruction. But we need to add on the 16th of an inch per inch. We have one inch, so it'll be 16th of an inch. So our first mark won't be at 25 inches. It'll be at 25 and a 16th. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my mark at 25 and a 16th. Now to get these two outer bends, this one and this one, we're going to use what is called a multiplier. And here it says right here, the multiplier for 10 degrees, we always use the, the first angle to get the multiplier. So the multiplier for 10 degrees is 6.0. And 6.0 times the one inch of the height of the obstacle is six inches. So we use the multiplier to find the distance between this band and this band and this band and this band. You see it's six inches from here to here and six inches from here to here. So we'll mark this one at 19 and the 16th. And then this one at 31 and a 16th. Make your marks all the way around on the conduit. I'll make my first bend with the notch of the bender on the middle line. The notch on your bender is always for the middle bend of a three point saddle bend. And it doesn't matter which way you have the hook of the bender facing. Put your foot on the handle of the bender for safety and bend the conduit to 20 degrees. Now take it and 
push it through so that the next mark is on the arrow of the bender. Here you can see I have the next mark on the arrow of the bender and the hook of the bender is facing the middle mark. Now sight down the conduit with both eyes and make sure you're nice and straight and in the same plane. Bend the conduit to 10 degrees. Now you take it out of the bender, flip it around. Now we have the hook facing the middle mark again and put your last mark on the arrow. Now you sight down, you sight down it with both eyes. Not just one eye, both eyes. And make sure it's nice and straight and there's 10 degrees right there. So there you go. A 10, 20, 10, three point saddle bend. Now I'll cut the conduit to length on the right hand side and install it. So here you go, we're in this fitting right here. You see it's nice and level. And we put a one hole strap here. Here is our first bend. You see it's, it's nice, nicely right in the middle of the obstruction. And we made this bend at 20 degrees. Then we went over here, we made this one at 10 degrees. Then we went over here, we made this one at 10 degrees. And there's another one hole strap. And then here's where it went into the fitting right here. 10 degree, 20 degree, 10 degree, three point saddle bend. There's a 16th of an inch per inch of obstruction shrink. And the multiplier for 10 degrees, which is the one we use, the first angle is 6.0. So we had a one inch obstruction. So 6.0 times one is six. So there we go, a 10, 20, 10, three point saddle bend. Here's a chart that shows you shrinkage and multiplier for a variety of angles. And I'll also, I'll put links in my video description for both Klein and Ideal conduit benders. And I'll put links for DeWalt and Milwaukee compact band saws. Those are really handy on a job site for doing this kind of work. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching!